Hi, today's problem is going to be about sickle cell anemia and uh, here is a problem. Two parents have a child that has sickle cell anemia. Which of the following is true? And here are the four answers to choose from. And if you need the time, you may stop video here, read the answers and uh, choose your answer. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, I want to start with listing down all the possible genotypes of the parents and one possible genotype can be capital A and capital A and uh, this of course would be phenotypically normal person because this genetic disorder is uh, uh, recessive and uh, another genotype can be capital A and small a and this is also going to be normal phenotype because one dominant allele present here and uh, the last genotype would be um, small a small a or homozygous recessive and this is uh, exactly genotype uh, when this genetic disorder would be expressed and such a person with such a genotype uh, would have uh, severe um, problems with uh, health. So uh, let's now check the answer A. Both parents must be homozygous for sickle cell allele. And uh, this is going to be this genotype. And let's build the Punnett square and see what we are going to get. So, for example, here on top, we would have genotype of the uh, father and on the side, genotype of the mother. And, of course, if we build the Punnett square, we would see that uh, all the progeny would be affected with this genetic disorder because 100% of the progeny also would have this genotype and... Uh, this is going to be homozygous recessive. And as you see, 100% of the progeny uh, would have this genetic disorder. But before uh, we'll um, check this answer as the uh, only correct answer, we have to check all the other answers. For example, answer B, one parent must be homozygous for the sickle cell allele but the other can be homozygous for the normal allele. So let's once again check this answer. So one parent must be uh, homozygous, recessive, so small a, small a, uh, but the other can be homozygous for the normal allele. So can be capital A, capital A. Once again, uh, this top side would be a male side, and uh, genotype on the side would be female genotype. So here we would have capital A, small a, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, and capital A, small a. So uh, all the progeny going to be heterozygous 100% and that means that uh, they uh, would be carriers but wouldn't be affected with this genetic disorder because this group of two genotypes would be phenotypically normal and all these genotypes here also would belong to the normal phenotype. Even if genetic disorder would be expressed, but this is going to be very, very mild. So a uh, health condition uh, would be considered normal. So uh, let's now check answer C. Both parents must have at least one copy of the sickle cell allele. And that means that uh, both parents must have at least one um, recessive allele. And that means uh, heterozygous genotype. So let's take a look what we can get when we cross two heterozygous Parents. So here we would have normal genotype, here we would have normal genotype and carrier, and here we also would 
have a normal genotype and carrier and here we would have one out of four or 25 percent uh, chances that uh, the progeny would express this genetic disorder and now let's check answer d one parent must be homozygous for the sickle cell allele but the other can be heterozygous let's uh, check this answer also so one must be homozygous for the sickle cell allele uh, but the other can be heterozygous so let's see what we can get from a such cross and here we would have heterozygous genotype here we would also have heterozygous genotype homozygous recessive here and homozygous recessive here and as you see in as a result of such a cross 50% of the progeny would express this genetic disorder three answers out of four would give us a possibility that the progeny would express this genetic disorder and this cross here of uh, one parent that is homozygous recessive and another one that is uh, homozygous dominant would produce 100% uh, normal uh, phenotypically normal progeny so we can cross out this answer and this is going to be answer B so we can cross out this answer here also and um, out of three left uh, for example the first one uh, let me read this answer again both parents must and this is uh, word must give us uh, that this is the only one possibility and as you see this is not the only one possibility when uh, two parents might have affected progeny here is two more examples so we can cross out this answer also so this is not the only one possibility and let's check answer D for example uh, one parent must be homozygous for the sickle cell allele but the other can be heterozygous and uh, we can cross out this answer also because uh, one parent uh, not necessarily should be homozygous for the sickle cell allele because as you see in this example it can be heterozygous and uh, so we can cross out answer D and the only one answer left is answer C both parents must have at least one copy of the sickle cell allele and this is would be minimum uh, requirements uh, for both parents to transfer this genetic disorder uh, to their progeny and have at least 25% uh, of them affected so this would be the only uh, correct answer here and this is going to be answer C and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video Goodbye.